Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about complex roofs, the updates I've recently made to them, and also the inclusion of complex roofs within the estimating module of the uh, project plugin. Okay, so to get started with uh, this whole thing, I just wanted to show a couple of complex roofs I've been testing against, and uh, there's quite a few here actually, but. Um, just show you then there's just one big colossal one here that I thought I'd try but uh, let's jump back over here so first of all <clears throat> um, kind of the similar to previous videos um, let's peel off a few layers here of course we have the roof cladding that uh, is already working and are also the roof sheathing so this is not a new update by any means um, just to point out also um, the roof hidden layer contains a solid uh, object which is basically the primitive that c generates the rest of the roof so this is what this roof hidden layer is all about or tag sorry uh, and I'll go ahead and hide that as well and then uh, this red uh, not red uh, purple bluish layer is called the roof outline and this is used when you're moving uh, roof planes around or roof edges and so typically you can also hide this as well okay so now we're down to the uh, bare bones or the skeleton I call it <clears throat> so so recently um, I have added in th kind of the final piece of the uh, framing module and that is the hip uh, valley and flying hip rafters. So on this one we don't see any flying hip rafters but let's jump over to this other little model right quick here. And you can see as you progress up this roof you have a ridge and then coming from this ridge and this ridge you have this little guy right here which is called a flying hip. And of course we can better illustrate that probably on um, any one of these other more complex roofs. So let's take a look at this one here. <clears throat> so right here, uh, it's hard to rotate with this one, it's a little crazy. Uh, okay, so we got a flying hip there, we've got a flying hip there. They both come down to this ridge, which is forming a saddle. And uh, we've got, of course, a gable end. And yeah, this, this, <laughs> this roof is quite complex. Anyways, um, so all of these roofs, um, you know, for one reason or another, we're having some issues uh, with the complex roof module initially. And so I've spent the better part of at least two weeks um, not only working on the framing module, but also fixing a few um, what I call instabilities with the, the algorithm to make it a little bit more robust. And so now um, I think we've addressed all those issues and now, you know, we're able to actually draw uh, roofs that are rather complex now okay so you know there are some limitations yet and I discussed that in a previous video with regards to complex roofs but at least we now have uh, the rafter framing module mostly complete now I will say that it is still a work in progress um, if you zoom in real quick here we can see that yes he's hip and this end common are drawn correctly but we've got this particular common rafter right here that's being trimmed uh, incorrectly and so there are a few there are still yet a few details uh, with regards to the uh, framing that need to be worked out um, you know this this end here we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good down here around the uh, the fascia board or sub fascia sorry you get up here and you know there's still we're still trying to figure out okay well how do we want to frame this exactly so <clears throat> you know it's still a work in progress but I will say that um, the nice thing is, is that these these uh, rafters, you know, these hip and flying hip rafters, even though, you know, there still is some question here how to handle these, you know, I guess what I call trimming at the termination points. Um, at least we have rafters that are positioned correctly and are in, you know, pretty much the correct space or place. If I turn on the hidden layer, um, which actually, you know, is coplanar with the sheathing or the bottom of the sheathing. Uh, you can actually test that these are actually aligning right to the roof planes as they should. So you can see that everything is aligning properly. All right, so, <clears throat> so now that we've at least got most of the roof framing in the model and put together, uh, now we can proceed further with what I call estimating. So that's what I've spent the last week on. Um, as we know, as you know, uh, the uh, estimating module has been moved from the wall plugin to the project plugin so it's now up in this toolbar and uh, so you know you're you can 
access it from the project plugin uh, and you don't have to have the wall plugin installed and the project plugin is relatively inexpensive so that uh, you know if you just want the trust plugin with estimating well then you just purchase the project plugin as a stand as a standalone little plugin that has estimating for all of the other plugins okay so what I've done uh, we've already have estimating set up for uh, I think rafter roofs and gable and hip rafters so I had not extended it yet to the complex roof module but now I have done that and so basically uh, let's go ahead and crank that up here and just as before uh, go ahead and we can collect all these roofs but I'm just going to do this one here uh, just so we don't get over overboard here and notice as soon as I select that roof um, it will in the window here it will say you know we have a rafter roof assembly selected I'm going to go ahead and draw the rafter labels as well. You don't have to. It's just an option. And then go ahead and calculate. Okay. And the first thing you'll notice is that uh, it will show you all of the sheathing and cladding roof planes as well as the drip edge and the ridge and hip, uh, hip cap. Now, hip and ridge um, are not actually drawn yet for complex roofs. So that algorithm is still a work in progress. But um, at least we are giving you um, you know quantities for estimating purposes so preview this is basically just a preview screen right what it want, wants you to do is click here and save that CSV report I'm just going to click that file and overwrite it yes okay and then go ahead and close that out okay now like I said we did turn on the rafter labels I'm going to hide this little grid just so we don't have that out of the way for a second um, <clears throat> so what you're getting here, um, you're not getting uh, the rafter length plus the tail or the or the, any um, you know split. My, I, I change it up a little bit for the uh, gable and hip rafters, but here I'm just giving you a basic uh, overall length um, for estimating purposes, not necessarily for framing purposes at this point. Uh, there's there's a, there's a lot to this, of course, so uh, it takes me a while sometimes to really get get all that detail but let's go ahead and hide um, a couple of these layers here so we can look at this a little better so I'm just gonna hide that root plane layer and hide that layer okay so now we've just got the uh, dimensions and if we go ahead and change our camera here I think we can change it to parallel projection that's a little better and just a straight overhead shot here okay so now we can quickly take a look and see that um, we basically have an overall uh, dimension for each one of these members um, so that's kind of nice. This is in inches, of course, um, to the second decimal place, but you know, give or take, oh, <laughs> you know, 16th of an inch, I think we're pretty close. So yeah, you can, uh, you've got this label, uh, thing, so you can kind of get a rough idea of what, what all of these members are, are going to be. Um, and then as well, let's go now, I'm going to jump out of, uh, sketch up here and bring up this Excel file. So it saves the file as a CSV, right? And you can open that up in any spreadsheet software. Here I'm doing Excel, which is a little bit of a data version. I'm gonna open these windows up a little bit more here, or columns, sorry. And let's say 20, just to get it open. Okay, so <clears throat> now this particular roof has, I think, 10 roof planes, um, roughly. Yeah, I think it's 10. And you can note, um, you've got, you know, your roof sheathing, your drip edge, your cladding, everything's here that was in the preview. Um, and, and another thing to note, too, is you have the net areas as well as the total area. So if you have any subtractions going on, like, um, I don't know, uh, skylights, uh, chimneys, that sort of thing, and you have those subtracted out of the model, it will actually take that into account and calculate your net area while at the same time providing you your total area. So I think that's kind of nice. But now you'll notice as we drop down further here, we have each roof plane with the rafters for that roof plane, um, you know, grouped. So A1 through A6, and then, or A7, sorry. And then, um, yeah, there's 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 a lot of data here. <laughs> and and the, I guess probably the most important thing is you, you've got your, your width and your depth, but then you've also got your... Um, your overall length and so you can pretty quickly you know within excel or any other spreadsheet get a uh, a nice little estimate of how much you know how many board feet you, you're going to need to frame this guy out 
And then um, right here, uh, we've got down further, we've got the hip rafters and the valley rafters and then the ridges. Now, we don't have any flying hips on this particular roof, but it will split those separate from the hip rafters. So well, let's go ahead and, and try that, actually. Well, so let's uh, save that. Let's jump back into SketchUp one time more. And um, I'm going to come over to this crazy roof and go ahead and we can pre-select if you want click the estimating uh icon here click draw rafter labels hit calculate and notice we've got significantly more roof planes <laughs> i don't know i think we've got 28 roof planes actually and notice too as you get above um uh, z you go to a a a b kind of like you have uh with the uh, excel spreadsheet uh naming convention okay so let's go ahead and save this one i'll just overwrite this guy here all right okay so yeah it's quite a quite a lot of information going on here and as you can see it has now literally labeled every single framing member uh, <laughs> on this roof it's pretty it's it's pretty crazy okay so let's take a look one more time at that uh, Excel spreadsheet and just just for a quick preview of it I'm gonna open these up a little bit more again Let's go 20. Okay, so again, a lot of roof planes, all your all your area dimensions for your cladding and sheathing, and then um, rafters. Now we've got a lot of rafters. Yes. Okay, and then finally uh, we get down to the hips, and notice we have flying hips now. So it's given you a number for all those flying hips and valleys and ridges. So hopefully this information is useful to you guys. Um, like I said, um, you know, it's still a work in progress. There's still many more items that need to be added. You know, we still haven't got the, uh, well, we do have the drip edge and we do have the hip and ridge. So, uh, you know, soffit and fascia, that sort of thing. Um, and there's always more to do. But I think, uh, you know, this is a, a definitely a move in the right direction and we're making some progress. So, um, you know, people that are using this feature or, or anything to do with the complex roofs, you know, I, I lend an ear to uh, any, any suggestions or anything that you might have um, that can further the development of these plugins. But um, again, uh, the squeaky, squeaky wheel gets the grease, I guess, is probably as good a saying as any other. And um, I, I really do appreciate actually guys' suggestions. So that kind of has um, kind of stirred me or uh, <laughs> got me going again back onto this complex roof and, or module and trying to get it uh, further developed. So again, thank you very much and uh, we will talk to you guys later. All right.